Well, we missed talking to Pat Pagano yesterday about the Oscars, uh, but first we'll talk about the big blowhard win we had yesterday, Pat. And that was that was predicted all the way back on Friday. Well, you were the first one to mention it. Nobody else had mentioned it until 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 Saturday. But it, let me put it this: I was walking out of my physical therapy appointment in, in Canaan, and it is a crest of a hill. Okay, and it was uh, and. The gusts of wind didn't just come up for like like a five-second thing. Mm-hmm. When you got those big wind gusts, they lasted for about 20, 30 seconds. I got hit with a gust of wind. In fact, I'm not a small guy. And I'm telling you, and it almost knocked me over. Almost knocked me over. It easily had to be 40 miles an hour. Easily. Oh, easily. Uh, we had wind gusts uh, yesterday here, you know, around the area of up to 60. Yeah. Mount Washington recorded... The highest wind ever for them in February, 171 miles an hour. It was, it was, and and it was, and it continued up until it finally died down after midnight last night. Right. After I midnight. Mean, Jeez. Yeah, it'll pick up again today. Uh, there's no, they have a wind advisory out. It'll pick up again today, but it's not going to be, it's only going to be half of the speed it was yesterday, but that still means gusts to around 30. And, so, and with temperatures 25 to 30, that means a wind chill factor around zero. Oh, yeah, it's going to be real cold. But at least you'll have mostly sunny skies. And tonight, partly cloudy, 10 to 15. Uh, your Wednesday, clouding up 25 to 30. You have a clipper low coming in Wednesday night with snow. It's light snow. We're thinking one to three inches of a fluffy snow. And this is one time, folks, that there's no other precip involved. So there won't be any ice. How about that? Yay. Upper upper teens Wednesday night. The snow ends early Thursday morning. Clouds, maybe a little sun, mid-30s, and then Friday, just a few snow showers around, one or two here and there, no big deal. And the highs, 35 to 40 on Friday. Looks like uh, the weekend, Saturday, we may get a little bit of a wintry mix uh, going over to rain, and then Sunday, back to blustery and windy and colder weather on Sunday. All right. Yeah. So the uh, the winter of up and down, in and out, around continues. Continues. So now uh, I uh, I watched the beginning of the Oscars, mm-hmm. uh, I t- which was terrific with Queen. Jill uh, Jill called me and said you have to put on the Oscars, so I put it on, and I, I stayed with the Oscars until this this team won an Oscar. And they came up on the stage totally unprepared, right. reading notes, and it was Thank just, it, it was embarrassing. Uh, it, you it, got that right. It was embarrassing. How about the person that read their, their on thing? On the cell phone. It, it, embarrassing. Don't these people, what happened to star quality? No, there wasn't any. Unbelievable. Uh, you are so right. These are all of the things that I am just shaking my head and I'm saying to myself, this is the worst uh, there was no creativity in the show at all. After Adam Lambert and Queen did their thing, the rest of the show went downhill, uh, not even not even gradually, quick. I mean, throw a bunch of stars up there, let them let them uh, announce winners, and that's it. I mean, you bring dinosaurs and you bring um, spaceships, uh, you know, and all of these effects to the screen every single year. And now this is your night to shine. And you don't even bother doing any kind of special effects, uh, you know, in this show, uh, let alone you didn't have a host, let alone you. What are people doing up there? What is a tennis star up there doing presenting awards? Yeah. What does she have to do with the movies? Nothing. What is what's his name have to do? The singer. Happy. <laughs> what does he have to do? Would presenting an, a movie award. I, I mean, they just, you could see that they were just grabbing, uh, grabbing for straws. It was, in my opinion, it was the worst show. I could have definitely done better with my eyes closed. Definitely. Yeah, it was, uh, like I said, I turned it off because it was so embarrassing. Uh, and, they, they, and it was so bad when I turned it off that the camera was pulling away because these people were fumbling and being on stage too long. The music was coming up, and yep. the camera pulled out far away so you didn't see the close-up when they cut off of them. It was just, that was so embarrassing. I said, my God, this is Mickey Mouse time. I mean, anybody who's nominated, number one, whether or not you think you're going to win, 
you prepare a speech and you have the speech yeah. memorized and you practice it just the way you would as if you were in a movie and uh, or if you were directing a movie or if you were putting makeup on an actor. I mean, these are things that you deal with your lifetime. Get up there and, you know, and do it the way it should be done. Um, what's his name? Robbie, uh, who won for best actor. Yeah. His speech was fine. I mean, uh, you know, first time up there. Um, I thought his speech was fine. I'm glad he won. I'm glad Green Book won uh, for uh, Best Picture. I heard, and I don't know the details, but I heard, uh, what's his name? Spike Lee got, was real, uh, left, the, uh, left the awards in, in a rage because he didn't win. He, no, not in a rage, but he uh, actually, because he, he did get an Academy Award, so he was fine, but he was talking about uh, the, <laughs> the first time he lost out to an Academy Award, mm -hmm. it was uh, 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 to a movie uh, that featured a, a white driver. Dar dri uh, uh, I mean, pardon me, uh, driving Miss Daisy. So he oh. he lost out to there, and so this time he lost out to an Italian driver. To an Italian, driver. and he was kind of saying, "I'm glad I got this award because, <laughs> you know." What is it with drivers and me? I mean, yeah, was he a little upset? Probably, but he did it with he, he did it with it was it was funny the way he did it. Oh, and, uh, okay, I didn't I didn't see that. You know, so, yeah, but, but really, yeah, he lost out the driving Miss Daisy, and uh, of course, uh, then the the, the, the the this one, which was basically it wasn't a driving title, but it was about their trip. So, yeah, you have to admit it was really like you said, it was an embarrassment. It was the pits. Yeah, um, it's horrible. But just just terrible and um i have to tell you that um unlike the oscars our movie premiere here went over well so no, uh, nobody spilled any food in here or anything like that no no uh i will tell you that as compared to years past yeah uh number one there was a lot of people um they turned out to be like 27 they pretty much ate and drank me out of house and home <laughs> in fact i had a lady server and she said to me in the kitchen, before she was putting out uh, the dinner, she said, I'm so afraid to bring the hors d'oeuvres downstairs. I'm afraid the next thing they're going to do is eat my arm. <laughs> I said, really, Evelyn? She goes, oh, my goodness. She says, I can't get that stuff out there. I don't know if they all came starved. I mean, they were drinking. But obviously, they had a good time. They loved uh, the tribute to the two uh, friends that we lost. We did that first. Uh, then we did the movie. Uh, actually, what we did first is I played the trailer, trailers to A Quiet Place and Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte. And I asked them by a round of applause um, uh, which one they thought we should do this. I bet you they picked this, Hush Hush so Sweet Charlotte. They all did. <laughs> um, uh, I, a lot of people said they would be a little too nervous to do A Quiet Place. It looked a little too scary to be done at the lake. You know, especially in the evening and stuff like that. And I just, you know, laughed at that. No, but anyhow, um, it went up well. They clapped. Uh, they they really, really did love it. And um, they started at 6 o'clock uh, was the time they got here. And uh, everybody was gone by one thirty. So it was a long night. And Pat was extremely tired. in the Sunday. morning. I'd have thrown their butts out at 11. Isn't that something? And... Uh, and I had to meet seven of them the following morning at a quarter to 11 in front of the hotel for brunch. Oh, God. And I was after getting to church at 8 in the morning. <laughs> so uh, needless to say, you know what I did um, Sunday afternoon. I slept, and then I woke up in time for the awards, and I watched most of it until the very, very end, and then I fell asleep. All right. Now, you know A Quiet Place was filmed in upstate New York, right? I did not. Yeah, it was filmed in upstate New York, uh, and they're coming back, uh, and they're going to be in portions of uh, uh, A Quiet Place 2. Uh, they're going to be in uh, portions of uh, uh, Duchess and Ulster mm -hmm. and G G Green Counties, and uh, once again, uh, out a little bit farther in western New York. Yeah, they're coming back, and they're going to film in upstate New York again. Wow, that's great. Uh, I think the movie's great. I think for us, I think it, it would really be perfect, especially that there's no lines. Well... I, you know, when you said uh, with, with with your age crowd, uh, yes, uh, what two movies? I knew that <laughs> they'd go with Hush Hush because they know it. They know it better, also. 
Yeah, I know that. Yeah, but you know as well as I do, uh, that's a large undertaking. Yeah. That movie. That movie's a large undertaking. Not that A Quiet Place would not be, um, but certainly doesn't have the cast that Hush Hush uh, Sweet Charlotte has. You know, A Quiet Place has, well, I wouldn't have the kids in it. You know, I'd replace those with adults and work around work around it there, but still it would be a minimal of people. Wouldn't have to worry about lines. I, and the most important thing would be effects. And I'd film the whole thing in black and white. There you go. But it's not to be this year. You don't think so? Well, are you going to go against their advice? Of course. All right. <laughs> That's right. They stay till 1 o'clock in the morning. Damn it. They're going to do a quiet place. <laughs> you got right. that right. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll check with you tomorrow to see how much snow it is we're really going to get. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm thinking one to three fluff. So uh, keep that in mind, folks, for tomorrow night. All right, Pat, we'll speak to you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center with a check on that tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.